CBF stands for Circuit Breaker Failure in Power Systems. A circuit breaker is an important component in a power system that is used to protect electrical equipment from damage caused by overloads or faults. If a fault occurs in the power system, the circuit breaker is designed to trip and isolate the faulty section of the system, preventing further damage. However, in the event of a circuit breaker failure, the system may not be able to properly protect itself. This can lead to cascading failures and widespread blackouts, as the faulty section of the system continues to operate, potentially causing damage to other equipment. To address this issue, power system operators use CBF protection schemes. These schemes are designed to detect circuit breaker failures and take appropriate action to prevent further damage. When a CBF protection scheme detects a circuit breaker failure, it can send a signal to nearby breakers to trip, isolating the faulty section of the system and preventing the spread of the fault. There are several different types of CBF protection schemes, including backup protection, directional comparison, and breaker failure protection. Each scheme has its own advantages and disadvantages, and the type of scheme used will depend on the specific characteristics of the power system being protected. CBF protection is an important part of ensuring the reliability and safety of power systems. By detecting and isolating circuit breaker failures, CBF protection schemes can help prevent widespread blackouts and other damage caused by faults in the system. The power system delicately balances load and generation. It's a common misconception that system faults are the only causes of brownouts and blackouts. However, these can also occur when the load surpasses the available generation or when there's excess generation compared to the load. Protective relays play a crucial role in detecting faults and isolating them from the rest of the system to prevent grid-wide outages. Historical data indicates that the longer a fault remains energized, the more it can destabilize the power grid. Hence, transmission system protection is designed to minimize fault time, protecting the entire grid. Every cycle is critical. Key components of any significant node on the power system include an isolation device like a circuit breaker or circuit switcher to energize and isolate a power system section. Instrument transformers CTs PTs that downscale primary voltage and or currents to smaller secondary values, reducing the size of protection equipment. A protective relay that measures the CT PT secondaries and equipment status to identify power system issues that need isolation. A separate power supply for the protection and isolation equipment that functions under all power system conditions. The functionality of the power system relies on transmission circuit breakers responding to an open command from the protection and control system. However, several issues with the circuit breaker could hinder this operation. The trip coil may fail to operate if the DC trip voltage at the circuit breaker is low or non-existent. The trip coil S could be compromised due to mechanical or electrical damage, rendering them inoperable. Misalignment of the tripping latches could prevent their release. The trip mechanism could be mis misaligned or damaged. The primary dielectric, responsible for extinguishing the arc when the contacts open, might fail if it's contaminated, depleted, or absent. The primary contacts could be fused shut. The fault current could exceed the circuit breaker's capacity to open. The fundamental task of circuit breakers CB to clear the fault and it should be always surrounded by overlapping protection zones as a perfect protection scheme. Therefore, CB can fail to interrupt faults due to the following. Loss of DC supply of control loops, open circuit or short-circuited trip and coil, leakage of SF6 within CB compartment which leads to an alarm stage 2. This alarm is utilized as a condition to pass the signal of tripping. It means that if SF6 gas pressure is not healthy implies a failure of tripping signal to complete it path till CB tripping coil. What is breaker failure protection? The breaker failure protection system is backup system. Specifically, this protection is depended on to take suitable action to clear a fault if, for any reason, the breaker usually anticipated to clear the fault does not. Why breaker failure protection is needed, how it works, a usual circuit breaker is commanded to open and close by protection and control systems that monitor conditions on the power system. Protective relay devices detect unusual circumstances, particularly system failures brief circuits, and direct one or more circuit breakers to be open to isolate the failed circuit or machinery. Protection schemes are coordinated to open the circuit breakers closest to the fault to interrupt or clear the fault with minimal effect on the rest of the energy scheme. This crucial operation. 
When breaker is failed to isolate or operate the fault in system, then breaker failure mechanism commenced to isolate the fault, means there must be certain time delay in this whole protection operation, after development of microprocessor this delay for tripping breaker failure is in range of 0.1 to 0.2s nowadays, before duration was in range of 0.5 seconds to 1 second. Now just think what happened when breaker failure protection itself doing malfunction. This will result in isolation of healthy loops of the network, which is also not acceptable. So we need to do more care while setting breaker failure mechanism in the system. Relay engineer can judge that one of the reasons for this malfunction is the shorter delay for all sort of faults. The breaker failure protection basic scheme, due to the expansion of power network, distance or better say the electrical distance between substations is reducing. Due to this reduction, our CCT is becoming shorter and shorter, and our point is that if we are not using proper breaker failure protection scheme, this short CCT may cause breaker failure protection malfunction. What should happen when a fault is detected? Before we dig into breaker failure schemes, let's look at what is supposed to happen in a perfect world when a fault occurs between breakers 3 and 4, as shown in figure. Breakers 3 and 4 should both operate with no intentional time delay via their line distance 21, zone 1 protection, or line differential 87L protection. The ideal, the ideal worst case scenario happens when one relay on the line detects a zone 1 fault and operates with no intentional time delay, then the other relay trips 15 to 25 cycles later after detecting a zone 2 fault. Either way, the fault is isolated from the system with minimum disruption because L2 is the only load that is offline after the relays operate. Figure shows a time graph of the entire tripping process with both relays operating with no intentional time delay. The total fault clearing time in an ideal world equals the local protective relay time and the breaker interrupt time. Total fault clearing time must be faster than the critical clearing times, otherwise the rest of the grid may destabilize. You should notice that an element with no intentional time delay has a number of hidden time delays that occur in the real world. Instantaneous elements aren't really instantaneous. Basic breaker failure schemes are pretty straightforward, as shown in figure. The breaker failure timer will start if the circuit breaker is closed and the circuit breaker receives a trip signal. If the circuit breaker opens before the breaker failure timer times out, the breaker failure protection will disarm itself. If the breaker failure timer times out, a breaker failure trip command will be sent to all the other circuit breakers connected to the failed circuit breaker. A breaker will be considered to have failed if, after the trip signal has been generated, the breaker has not started opening within a preset time frame determined by switches internal to the breaker. The breaker has not fully opened within a preset time frame determined by switches internal to the breaker, or if the current has not been broken by the breaker within a preset time determined by current measurement devices. Breaker failure protections are used on breakers at any voltage level, but are predominant on 13.8 kV systems and above. The more impact a failed breaker will have on electrical system stability, the more necessary to use this high-speed breaker failure protection. Lower voltage levels 13.8 kV and below may use timed backup protections if the fault clearing time is not crucial. Breaker failure timer. The breaker failure scheme opens several circuit breakers and could cause havoc on the power system if it operates incorrectly. Therefore, the breaker failure timer 62 BFTD delay should be longer than the normal circuit breaker opening time and the time necessary for any arcs to be quenched after the circuit breaker opens and the BF element to detect that the CB is open and disarm itself and a margin of time to account for unexpected circumstances to give the CB plenty of time to operate before all the other circuit breakers are tripped by the BF scheme. A typical BFT delay is between 15 and 25 cycles. CBF settings of fault detectors must be at least two TIMS pickup under minimum fault conditions. And if possible the phase unit should be set above maximum loading on the associated element. On the other hand, ground elements for fault detectors should be very sensitive in this case since no loading restriction is required. The ground element will be set above loading unbalanced 20% of maximum loading. Methodology of regulating CBF settings, identify CB overlapping to identify fault locations to be simulated for CBF unsymmetrical faults, set the phase element to have 2x pickup values, this is applicable for L2L fault within protection zone, regarding CBF schemes where the timer is started by the initiation of CBF, 
Examine the possibility of having successful operation of CBF by using 50% current split between the CBs for the following schemes BB and breaker a half, DBDB, and ring bus.